Hey there, in this video we've drawn something in Illustrator, now we need to use it in other Adobe programs. We'll start with the most common programs and work our way down to the weeds. Okay, so the, probably the best way for all of them is if I select my fox here, go to my libraries. If you don't have a library, you can create one by a new, new library. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab him, just drag him in here. Okay, I should give him a name, I never do. And there he is. And any program in, let's say Photoshop, okay, I can go to my library, there he is, drag him in, got a fox. Okay, uh, that works for any of them. InDesign, go to my libraries, window, CC libraries, you, my library. I've got two my libraries, I've actually got three. <laughs> Just to confuse everyone. Okay, so that is a way to bring in these graphics. The pro is that I can double click this guy in my library now. It opens it up in a separate window in Illustrator and I can go through and recolor it. I can say, I don't want to change that color. Hit save. Okay, and if I jump back into InDesign now, you'll notice that's updated, Photoshop's updated, and not this original Illustrator file, just so you know. It's kind of like a one-way street. Once it goes in there, they're not connected. Okay, I could drag it back out now, and it will be. Okay, so I've got a kind of a link there. Now, sometimes that can be a problematic. Say you want to kind of not link to the libraries because you're like, man, it's connecting to libraries and it's causing dramas. What you can do is instead of just dragging it out like that, okay, what you can do is you can hold down the option key on a Mac and drag out, okay? The difference between that and that is that they're not linked. So when you're dragging it out, just make sure you hold down the Alt key on a PC or the option key on a Mac, okay? And when it comes out, it won't be connected. Same in Photoshop, okay? Drag it out holding down the Alt or option key and now if I go back to that original where is he there he is there and I go and change him to something else okay the ones that are linked will change let's have a look in Photoshop okay the link one will change but this one won't okay I often always drag mine out um, not connected okay I like to kind of uh, have them separate so that's a great way but there's another way okay most of them you can just copy and paste right instead of going through that drama you can just select this copy it Okay, do I have a white background? I don't. So select it all, copy it, and go into, actually let's go back to this original one. Um, so you copy and just paste. Okay, when you're using Photoshop, okay, so let's do Photoshop now. So if I paste into Photoshop, it's gonna ask me this. Okay, and most people go to, well, depends if you know or not. Okay, a lot of people just use pixels because that makes sense. Um, this one here is the one you want to be using, Smart Object. Okay, click on Smart Object. The cool thing about it is that I get to resize it. Pixels means if I do it with pixels, okay, and I resize it afterwards, it's going to potentially pixelate. So watch this. If I resize this one now, can you see? You start seeing the pixels. This one, though, because I said Smart Object, it's clever and keeps the vector in there. Okay, so that's the one to use. Let's look at InDesign. You can do the same thing. You can, instead of using the libraries, okay, bye bye libraries, you can just paste it in here as well. Bring it through vector, it's perfect. Okay, it doesn't connect to anything. Um, yeah, just copy and paste into InDesign. Let's look at some of the other ones, say After Effects. Okay, I do most of my drawing in Illustrator and bring it in and animate it in After Effects. Okay, um, in here, you can, let's say we want, there's a couple of things we need to do. It doesn't really matter how you get it in here. You can't do copy paste. You can file import the Illustrator file, drag this guy in, that works too. Okay, but the only drama with this when you bring it in, there's two things you need to do. One is you need to, often if you want to animate this in any kind of way, um, it doesn't like that this is an AI file. What you can do to get around that, say you're doing some animation, you're like, man, Illustrator files just don't work. Go to layer and go to this one that says convert shapes to vector layer. It kind of turns it into a shape that uh, After Effects likes a lot more. Um, and what it does down here is that was our original uh, layer. It's created this new layer and turned the old one off and turns the eyeball. So we don't need him anymore. Okay. So this one here is, yeah, often you can do a lot more effects with it when it's being converted that way. The other thing to do is whenever I scale something up, um, let's say that I don't do it that way and I just bring in my graphic. Okay, and it's just a logo needs to sit there, but I decide to scale it up. Can you see it pixelates? Okay, so whatever original size it comes through, um, it, it is vector, but it just won't show you. Okay, and it will pixelate. So you've got to click this little option. Um, make sure you're on this. You can toggle switch. I know this might be hardcore. This is for the people that know um, After Effects, make, or at least a little bit. Click on this magic button there. You can see it re-renders it. Can stretch your machine out uh, a little bit doing that. Okay, but um, yeah, if you need to make it smaller, don't worry about it. But if you need to make it bigger, definitely click that option. OK, 
Okay, going out to something like animate, say you're doing banner ad animation, and um, all you need to do is copy and paste into this one as well, or use your libraries. Okay, so a new layer, I'm gonna paste it in, um, I'm gonna leave Illustrator import preferences, okay, and there's my little graphic. Okay, and the cool thing about this is, yeah, I can animate it, and let's preview our cool little parallax ad we've ruined with our <laughs> fox's head. Okay, so if you're unsure what animate does, mainly for banner ads. Well, that's what I use it for anyway. Uh, next one, Dreamweaver. Okay, so you wanna go to Dreamweaver. This is probably the most complicated, not complicated, but uh, it's not a copy and paste job. So I've got my graphic. I wanna get this out into Dreamweaver. Because it's vector, we wanna take advantage of the new format called SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic. To do that, go to Window and go to this one called uh, Asset Export. And what we do is um, you drag it in, okay, and uh, you can see it dragged it in all the pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that. You're gonna group it first, then drag it in, so it's one unit. And down here you can say what kind of format you want it to be. So let's say you wanna get it out just the same size it is as a PNG, which gives you transparency. You might go that option for Dreamweaver, or this is the kind of newer, fancier, scalable vector graphic. Okay, you can do that, hit export, and you're gonna get the file to use in Dreamweaver. Just go to your insert image. Cool, so the last one is Dimension. Dimension is the new kind of 3D um, modeling kind of program. I'll do that in a separate whole video. Okay, so check that out. We'll do that in a bigger kind of thing because it's a pretty cool little addition to Illustrator, but it just wants to bring in AI files. Before I go is my sales pitch. You can switch over next. Um, say like the Photoshop, um, I've got an Essentials and an Advanced course that I'm making right after this one. Okay, if you are an InDesign user, I've got uh, an Essentials for that as well and an Advanced one. So if you're enjoying like this Illustrator Advanced course, there's an InDesign Advanced one and a Photoshop Advanced. Another thing you might do is um, a good step for you might be going to something like XD. Okay, XD we haven't really looked at yet. XD is um, basically a vector, well, it's kind of like a simple drawing program, but it allows you to um, draw really kind of, it looks very like Photoshop Illustrator, it's, it's very similar, except it has this prototype option. You can kind of see here, if I prototype this, I can make it feel like uh, this is a prototype we make in my XD course. Um, so if you, yeah, if you wanna get into more UI design or user experience design, XD is a great step for you. If you're at this level of Illustrator, you're gonna be able to do XD quite, uh, quite well if you do my course. All right, um, so in this one here, you can just copy and paste as well, okay, and the vector comes through. And the cool thing about it is you can double click on it and it's still kind of editable pieces and you get to build your XD using the drawing tools from Illustrator and just kind of adding the interactivity in here. You can see here, um, yeah, that's our kind of website and mock-up. I've also got courses on After Effects, there's motion graphics, animate banner ads, uh, loads of Dreamweaver ones. Um, yeah, so, all right, stop trying to sell you things. Let's get on to the very next video.